Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you some mixed media projects using the new stamps from Pink Ink Designs. So let me show you the actual stamps. This one is the Seahorse. And as you can see, you get extra stamps in there as well. The next one is the camper van. And again, you get extra flower stamps and some words as well. So the next one is the bee and as you can see you can make the wings into a 3D element. This looks amazing and I can't wait to play with this one. So the next one is the elephant. Again you can use the ears and the trunk to make a 3D element. This one would be extremely good as an embroidery. So the next one is the unicorn, which again is very beautiful and really fun to play with. The unicorn is going to be in my next video. And the next stamp is the hair, which again you can make the ears as a 3D element. And again, can't wait to play with this one. And then we have the dragonfly, which again, all the wings you can use to make a 3D element part of it, which again looks absolutely amazing. And the last one is the dragon, which again, you can use the wings to make a 3D element. This is the one that I'm going to be using in this video. So I'm just taking the dragon off the backing sheet and trying to put it onto my journal block, which is too small. So I'm having to use my um, palette board and I'm going to be using my Versafine Onyx Black ink pad. Now, since this video, I've actually ordered the Tim Holtz stamp platforms just because the stamps are so large, it makes it so much easier to stamp the image and if it doesn't all come out perfectly in your first stamp, you can re-ink it and stamp it again in the exact position. So I haven't got that as yet in this video, but it will be in my next video because I use it for my unicorns. So here I'm just doing a couple of the dragons as usual. I always do more than one so that I've got one to practice on and then one for the finished piece. And as you can see, you still get a perfect impression even without the stamp platform. You just have to make sure you're putting a lot of pressure around the whole of the stamp. So here I'm just practicing with the wing and I'm going to stamp this onto my cardstock separately. This is the 3D elements part. So I'm just stamping the little dragonfly and the bit of smoke. Again, the dragonfly you can make into a 3D element. I am now going to use my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils to colour in my dragon and this bit I'm just going to fast forward so it doesn't get too boring for you. So one thing I've learnt from this colouring process is that it's a lot easier to do the background colouring first before you colour the dragon in. So next time I do this I will do the background first before I colour the dragon. I am now going to use my red geranium archival ink to stamp the stars around the dragon.
I'm just using my corner punch to round off the edges. I am now using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick my card to my card base. I am now going to use my Faber Cascal Pitt Pen Dark Sepia to go around the outside edge of my 3D element parts, so the wings of the dragon and the wings of the dragonfly, and I am using my bone folder just to curve the card so that it's not flat, and I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue again to stick the wing to the dragon. So I'm again using my bone folder just to give a bit of dimension to the wings for my dragonfly and I am going to use my foam pads to hold the wings in position and as always just using my acrylic glue to stick over the top of the pad so that it doesn't move and it gives you a bit of wiggle time. I then stick a foam pad behind the dragon's wing just to make it a bit more stable now that the glue has dried. So that is my first project finished. Moving swiftly on to the second one, this is where I decide to do the outside colouring first and then the dragon, which is a lot easier. I'm not going to show you this whole process because that would be extremely boring so I'll just show you a little bit and skip to the end. So with my second colouring I'm a lot happier with the way that it turned out and I'm just going to use my Uniball Signo silver pen just to add highlights to the dragon. I am now going to use my Stickles glue just to add some glitter to the dragon's wings. So that is my second project all finished. These are actually display pieces for the shop and the window display. So moving on to my third project, I'm now going to use my liquid pearls. This is ruby red. Now these are fabric paints, so I'm diluting them with water. And as you can see, I've stamped my dragon onto some fabric. So for the background, I have used my Derwent Ink Tents blocks. And I've also used my Derwent Colour Soft pencils for some of the colouring. And as you can see here, the liquid pearls just really bring out some of the highlights of the dragon. So next I'm going to use my Red Geranium Archival Ink to stamp the stars around the dragon. So moving on, I have now put my dragon material into a hoop. I've also used a piece of wadding and a piece of backing fabric. So there's three layers of fabric in this hoop. And I'm just cutting off the excess material around the edge. I am now going to use some strong cotton just to do a running stitch around the outside edge of the fabric and I will then pull this together and make it tight. Mm -hmm. 
I am now cutting out a piece of felt for the back of the project and I will sew this on. I am now using some PVA glue which I am watering down and I'm going to use this on the 3D element part of my dragon and the dragonfly. So I've watered this down as you can see and I'm going to apply the glue onto the back of the wings. So now I'm just going to place this over the top of my rolling pin and leave it to dry and the wings, the dragonfly wings, I'm just applying over a paintbrush. Now as you can see this is the next day and I take it off the rolling pin and it has left it in a nice curved shape so I just need to cut this out and then stick them on. So I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the wings onto my fabric. So this is the next day after the glue has all dried completely and as you can see the wing has a nice 3D element to it. And that is the three projects all finished. Now this dragon in the embroidery hoop is actually for sale, I will leave a link to my website below. If you would like to buy any of the products I've used in this video they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end cards at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.